Hi, it's Adrian, and welcome to day six of our 21 days of praise. We are having a great time just focusing on the Lord, focusing on Jesus and what he's doing and his way of doing things. And one of the things that the Lord gave us is to just continually focus on the promises of God and not the problems. How about you? Are you focusing on the promises? Let me tell you how to do that. Um, I have a book of promises and it makes it so much easier so that you don't have to like kind of search it out through the word of God yourself. But if you get like a book, they, they sell them like tiny book of promises of God. There are so many promises. There's promises in every area for you. There's promises for your relationships that God makes to you. There's promises for your health. There's promises for success in business. There's promises for your family life. There's promises, you know, just for you personally. You know, yeah, all that's in the word of God. Promises that God has made you. Promises that how he will bring increase into your life. Promises how he will establish you. It's all in there. Those are promises. Those are promises that he makes to you. And those promises are based on some things. So you need to get the promise because, you know, you'll read it and the Lord will say, if you do these things, then this will happen. That's a promise. If you do this, then that will happen. That will happen if you do this. Well, you have to know what those things are for, so that you can hold on to them and focus on them. So I encourage you to get yourself a, a, a book of promises because that will make it easier for you. Everything will be in one place. Or you can go into the Word of God yourself, you know, and search it out. You can search it out on your computer, you know, put in promises of God or put in trusting God, you know, and Google it. Trusting God or, you know, promises of God or promises made by the Lord concerning marriage, promise, promises and relationships, just Google it, search it out, be a researcher. And then take a few that you, that really, you know, pop out to you and hold on to it. You know, you know, one of the things, one of the promises that I hold on to, I mean, I hold on to it in my life is that the Lord says, I promise that I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I hold on to that. So like if I'm doing something in any, you know, any kind of apprehension comes like, oh my goodness. But, and then I remember the promise and I grab like the Lord promised me that he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. And that forsake means I will never let you down. I will never let you down. Best promise in the world from the Lord. One, anyway. The other promise that I hold on to is Psalms 23. All of them. That whole song right there, Psalm 23, I hold on. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Well, I shall not want is a promise because if he's your shepherd, you shall not want for anything. I hold on to that. I hold on to the one. He leads me, you know, into green pastures. You know, he leads me beside still waters. I hold on to that. That calms me. And I'm saying, okay, this got to work out. You know, I just got to get to that place. I have to let the Lord lead me to the place that's the green pasture. I have to allow the Lord to lead me beside that still water. And that means that he leads you to a place where you can just kind of catch your breath. You know, sometimes it's, you might feel overwhelmed, but the Lord will lead you to a place where you can just catch your breath. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just calm down, calm down. And then I hold on to those promises. I hold on to, you know, he restores my soul. So anytime the enemy tries to make me feel like something has been disrupted, I say, wait, well, if it's dis disrupted, guess what? It's halftime, devil. It's halftime. The game's not over because the Lord restores my soul. What? Yes, I have to, you know, hold on to that promise. And then I often, you know, hold on to he, he leads me into a path that's right for me. You know, so I'm like, okay, I'm not looking at what anybody else does. I don't care about that. I'm happy for you. You do your thing, but there's a path for me, the path that's right for me. The Lord leads me into that path. I'm not talking about a different path. I'm talking about the path that's right for Adrian because the Bible says when he's your shepherd, where's the shepherd? He's in front of the sheep and he leads the sheep. He leads them to the places that they should go. So I'm like, I'm keeping my eyes on Jesus, y'all. He's going to lead me to the right place. What about you? So I hold on to those promises. That's what it means to focus on the promises. You have to know the promises in order to focus on them, you know. There's promises for help. Yeah, sometimes we go through health challenges. You know, um, I was resisting something um, quite recently, and I'm still resisting it. And, you know, I, I, I grab onto the promises of God. You know, the promise of God says, I am the Lord God that heals you. Well, I hold on to that promise. But there's the promise of the God says, with his stripes, we are healed. We are that is present tense. It's a done deal. We are here. So yeah, you know, you, you get facts and stuff, but facts are subject to change. 
You know, your faith can change those facts because the Bible gives us what the truth is. And you shall know the truth and the truth that you know will make you free. Well, I know that the word of God is true. And so I take that truth and I apply it to the facts. And so my faith can change those circumstances. But you have to know the promises of God. And so when the problems come, for every problem, there's a promise. For every problem, there's a promise. But you have to know what the promise is so that you can grab hold of it and not focus on the problem. But focus on the promise. God bless you. The Lord is so good. We actually was going to give you something else this morning. But that's the way that he went. And so we're going to go with it. You know, day six, keep the praises high. Focus on those promises. Learn them. Grab the one that you need for your situation right now. And focus on those things. And God be with you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless.